most cases, I'd say 75 to 80 percent of the homes that are broken into are by some sort of uh, forced door, either a uh, kick or a shoulder. The inherent problem with the door is in the construction itself. It's uh, made of wood on the, on the edges and you drill a hole in it and then you, you put a plate on it which has got two holes in a straight line. As soon as you put the screws in a straight line, the wood cracks. Anybody that works with wood knows that. So what we need to do is do something that reinforces that door and the door frame to stop that from happening. And that will stop almost virtually every break and enter. They have a sense, a false sense of security that when you lock your door like, and you go to bed at night that your door is locked and it's, it really isn't. The bolt is thrown and the door is technically locked, but one kick and the door is opened. Crime, it's all around us. Each year, thousands of people suffer the trauma and loss of having their home broken into. Experts say that thieves look for the easiest way to get into a home, and more often than not, it's right through a door. The individual who tried to gain entry uh, must have been uh, a large, quite, quite heavy individual who, who put his foot to the door numerous times. We need to invest in a little more uh, security on our door. Simply putting a deadbolt on and putting an alarm system in is not going to deter any thief from breaking into a house. We have to actually do the physical hardware to make the door safe. When adding up the costs, break-ins are expensive. Most people lose more than $1,200 in personal property when their homes are burglarized. Then there's the cost of repairing and possibly replacing damaged doors. To me, an alarm system only gives me warm and fuzzies for the evening when I'm in the house. I needed something during the day when I'm not in the house, and something like the door safe seemed to be the perfect answer.